Hi there, my name is Joanne Arnett, a friend of Turnstone. Happy birthday. Uh, I'll be reading from this chat book called Fences and Beyond. Can I get it to come through? There we go. The Bouquet of Night. Between the solitary promise of the death of the born alone, dies alone island of a man, the one who has no mother from which he is born, the one who God and capital made and remade, and the painful shared insult of mass graves, whole populations perishing, buried too quickly to know who and whom, only them, us. There is the die-hard diplomacy and romanticism. Never leave me. I won't. In the afterworld, I lean in for a kiss. You are as dusty as I am. Together, waiting for the sun to shine on us again. The feel of rain on skin, the feel of skin, the taste of your breath, the taste of breath, the scent of fresh linen and you together, the scent of me and the feel of a freshly washed blanket, the bouquet of night. And a poem for Pari Mansur called A Song of Farewell. Fly free, rare bird of life, whose struggle into form and through and within form is almost done. This consecration, this lifetime. All of the work that came into hand passes now into other hands. All of the strenuous mind and heart, efforts to make sense of streaming, now quiet, slow, surrender. As you drift in the void, that oneness so pristine, so sully, effortless and effortful, one with the flow and turn, now a fish in the stream, following the stream in her deepest flow. Thank you. Hi, I'm Catherine Bitney, and I'm a poet, and I'm going to read you a couple of poems from books that were published of my work by Turnstone Press. Now, the first book, poem I'm going to read is from Heart and Stone, which was my second book with Turnstone, and the poem is called Question. In the beginning was the word, and the word was bang, or bubble. The word was atom. The word was superstring. In the middle of nothing was this something, this word, bang, bubble, atom, not, super ball. And before that, in the beginning was this idea that in the middle of nothing, there must have been something because how can there be nothing? In the beginning came the question, why should there be something instead of nothing? The question. What is nothing? And how can there be a beginning if everything occurs in the middle of the question? Why is there something instead of nothing? Well, there is a void and that is nothing. And in the middle of that void, there is this something, this hard ball, this convention of atoms. Atoms are conventions of quarks, protons, neutrons, and ons and ons. Wait. In the middle of the void is a tiny ball. The ball explodes and the ball, now no longer a ball, but a huge bubble, moves outward from its exploding center and into the void, but the void is nothing. So if the void is nothing and the bubble expands into the void, then the bubble expands into nothing, in which case the universe does not exist. I'll start again. In the beginning was the idea, and the idea was a little ball, but the little ball was already there. So it precedes the idea, and there goes the whole ball game. Nope. The word is the ball. The ball is spoken out of the mouth of God, which is a black hole leading to another universe. So... So that was my question. I guess a lot of people ask that question. Why is there something instead of nothing? 
The second poem I'm going to read is from Firewalk, which was my most recent uh, collection from Turnstone Press. And it's called, There is a Good Wind. I write a lot about the wind. There is a good wind, and again, somewhere I'm sleeping in it. Small birds sing in the hedges, hidden. Sing for love. The merlins claim a high tree, wind suffering. Evergreen arms crawl it, swimming the wind. Same wind as sighs in the forest, calls the new leaves out, calls out the reeds in the river, wasps already hunting, wings against the wind. Crows call, riding it, gulls riding, winds of shaping, winds of calling. When you sleep in the wind, you are between two worlds, home, home. All things are possible. Insects open themselves like leaves unfolding. You stand and the little blue wind carries you. You walk up its banks, stairs, its cushions, its ladders, its waves, you surf. You sleep in its arms. It sings, speaks to you voices, voices you know better than your own. Skin of the wind, walker of winds, sleeper in wind. Grape sap glistens, drips, birds, the small ones, heard, not seen, walk the wind. Somewhere in the trees they're calling and their trysts. Does someone wish me ill? You come out alive, Birds fly into the hedge, so while you lie in the wind, remembering, remember this fight, remember this, the day you were born. Who sees it? Fire. Fire and the body burning. Thank you.